for old times sake. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Oh no! He's the one shot kill guy. Wait. There's two of them? Wait, was that the same corridor? Did I just like turn around or what? Maybe I did. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, 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 this is right. This is right. I guess we'll do the same thing. I don't, I don't really know. Make sure to record every second of this. Oh, shit. You can, cry. You can stand on the... Oh, no. Oh, bollocks. Go on. <laughs> I mean... Is that really what that vent was put there for? <laughs> a bit weird that he just walks away, but... In before it just crashes. In before I was the guy falling through the lift shaft and it was like a weird twist. We're going a little deeper than we need to. Of course. Okay. Some Celtic Nazi. Don't bunker, I guess. <laughs> Wait, is that a brain? No, it's not. I was going to say, it's like a brain and a foot. It's just like... <laughs> Dude, you shouldn't sleep on the job. Hey. A file. Documents. The Pride of Wisdom. From the Personal Records of Dr. Vernick, Frankenstein, or the Modern Prometheus, by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818. Chapter 23, excerpt. Oh, excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease, you know not what it is you say. Uh, I broke from the house angry and disturbed and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. Okay. I mean, I guess that's, like... Wisdom, meaning knowledge, <laughs> not necessarily wisdom, I guess, or resur being able to resurrect the dead, but uh, it not being uh, necessarily the right thing to do, despite the sort of intel intelligence or required to do it, I guess. I don't know.
Do do do. Hey, look more uh, Celtic symbols. Morphogenic engine chambers. Thanks, because I was getting lost. To be fair. Man, any horror game that doesn't end in a laboratory is not a horror game. I wonder what's in there. <laughs> Ah, the local newspaper. No, it's not. Uh, goodness me. It's not how you keep a clean uh, laboratory, is it? Uh, what happened in here? What happened in that corner? <laughs> Did the guy just get, like, catapulted? Into the wall. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> the facial expressions in this game are actually incredible. Is that the last thumbnail? There's nothing to do in here. Oh wait, there is. Of course there is. It isn't hollow. Come on. Documents. Variant postmortem. Project Wall Rider. Postmortem preparatory report. From form note, all material herein to be transcribed and revised to fit legally binding requirements of Murkoff Corporation records. See form 484083. Author Jennifer Rowland. Notes my 14th autopsy of a Wall Rider patient. Showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormones, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient, independent swarm. Okay, that sounds completely different from what I thought was going on. <laughs> like, is this like a whole new strand of the story now already? Like, so late in the game? So tired, doubting my judgement, will submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patience is more than I feel I can handle, may suggest hanging less hope on the far-flung theories of a senile Nazi and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on major sperm protein. What are they trying to do? <laughs> will definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Murkoff Security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Because this sounds like here that they're trying to make, you know, well, not zombies, but like, I guess, people that follow the group think, you know, that the swarm, I guess that's what they meant, is they're making people that, you know, follow some dogma, which is, I guess links with the relig religious aspect, but uh, uh, that didn't sound anything like what they were doing before, so I'm a bit confused. Uh... My night vision? No. <laughs> Why is it yellow outside? Are we in a desert or is it like sunrise maybe? Because it is cool when horror movies do the sort of, you know, overnight thing. You know, like the Evil Dead where you, uh. Where you, uh. where he comes out at dawn. It's all fresh and new. Okay, let's read his, uh... Oh, we've got loads of thoughts. The Passion of Father Martin. I can't believe Father Martin one-upped Jesus Christ himself in shitty ways to die. That is a ridiculous sentence. <laughs> it's like... That's... Just, I don't know, like a very ignorant thing <laughs> to say. And I don't believe I'm going to miss him. A way out. If he's telling the truth, now i got a way out and, I, and a story to tell. He wants me to spread his gospel. I'll tell the whole fucking world. Under the mountain. 
fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god, what is with these? Who the fuck would write this down? <laughs> like, what a ridiculous journalist. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I'm not crazy. I know, I know, only crazy people say that. But I'm not a sane. But I'm as sane as this world allows with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it is Murkoff's fault. Very blah, 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 blah. I hate this. I hate this protagonist. <laughs> He's just a moron. With a camera. This is the morphogenic engine. A few lines of mathematics and algorithm. Reprogrammers turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers and a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with Dr. Vernick's corpse. Oh my god. But that sounds like he understands what it is. And I don't understand what it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, delivery exit. Okay, I mean... Oh, there were stairs, I guess. But stairs they are no longer. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. Of course, that's to be one last chase sequence. I don't really know where I'm going, though. <laughs> Wait, no. This is going to get consumed by the ghost thing. Don't make me rely on batteries. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say about that. <laughs> Death of the soldier. What, he was a soldier? This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you don't find another. I don't understand the way he gets these thoughts. Wait, am I still supposed to go that way, though? I have no battery. Okay, I guess I don't. <laughs> Damn it. I thought the door handle was something creeping around the side of the door for a second. Just 
Matt meant to make something so strong. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. This story is all over the fucking place. <laughs> like, <laughs> right, so they're making. We achieved something like this in 1944. Those fascists thought it was spirits. I let them believe it. Let them kill themselves, thinking there was some kind of afterlife now in Pyrrhic they promised to be. Fools. Poor Alan. He would weep to see what I've built from his dreams. Billy doesn't. <sighs> You're gonna stop? He's a child with a damaged mind. Granted the powers of a god. It would make any of us into a monster. You must end this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Must die here. Oh, my god, he's still talking? <laughs> I really don't understand what the story is like. So now it's just like nanites made by humans, which is seems totally inefficient like I get the idea you know human cells are well not human cells but biology is an incredible you know it builds incredible things so if we could use it to build things which I think we will one day use biology to build material that would be very potent, but I have no idea what that's got to do with anything that they've <laughs> done in this game. It seems completely random, out of place thing. Like, I don't know what it's got to do with the ghosts flying around. I don't know why they'd have a insane asylum. I don't know what the religious aspect was for. I don't know what the German Nazi Celtic shit was for. I, it's just completely. I don't know. Like they just made it up as they went along or something. I don't know. And, honestly, the story is so... far removed from the actual like, game experience that it's kind of pointless to even have. <laughs> like, this is not a narrative game, really. It's... it's you know, it's a horror game. Hey, batteries. I hope I do not need too many of you. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. Who's that fellow? I think I've seen him before. So much blood. Uh, what? Guess I'm dead. Because, you know, instant kills are cool. Where am I now? Oh, here. I don't know why I can run faster than like <laughs> some kind of fucking spirit thing, like it's kind of weird. Hey documents, leave me alone while I read this please. Don't go through walls, I don't, like what are the rules? It doesn't make any sense, what have they actually made? <laughs>
Uh, note to all personnel from consultant, blah, 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 Rudolf Wernick. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being by, based in this technology will be so far superior to, to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We are now... I mean, is that true? We are now blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. I mean, I guess the swarm is a cluster of, like, nanite things. I guess that's, like, the swarm. Ugh, I don't know. What the hell? Hey, thank you. I was hoping you'd automatically open. <laughs> What's he got to say? What's he got to think? Vernix machine, the assembler, the feed chambers, the precursor molecules, vague memories of nanotechnology articles I read online. Probably drunk, probably distracted, not nearly enough to know how to destroy it, but Billy is the centre of it. Find him, kill him, endless. I don't know who Billy is. <laughs> like, he's just a random patient. It's not like a... Why is any importance given to these people? Um... Is there one last battery? Is there only battery? I just press a button or Hey, more documents. Morphogenic engine chamber precautions. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Morphogenic Engine Chamber Maintenance Schedule To avoid patient injury, the Morphogenic Engine Life Pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital System 1. The Enriched Oxygenated Perfluoro... Perfluoro... <laughs> perfluorocarbon from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that the OP... Don't know what that is. Also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital system 2. Electric supply supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Oh. So this is how to kill it, right? Is that what you're saying? So I need to not flush the life support fluid. I need to destroy the generator. And in the case of catastrophic life vital systems, one, two, and the life support fluid. Fail safe with engage, maintaining localized. Whoops. Localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Right, then kill the fail safe. Oh, look. Jesus. Very nice, is it? Uh, Billy Hope. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks at least 50 years of rough road, pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Yeah, does it look 50? I mean, I, I don't know, maybe. So, what do I do? Is this something? What's this? Life support, here we go. I feel like closing that door might just... be a problem for me. <laughs> And not this floaty thing. Life support. This is Billy's hopes. Lungs, his liver, his life support machine, the size of football stadium to keep one to alive. Look at all, break it all, blah, 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 blah. Completely nothing of value for a journalist to write down. All this is going to result in is an op ed. <laughs> or it's like. There's no, like, basis in reality. 
Just his rambling opinion on something. Horrific. Uh... Do not turn the valve! Well, I did it. What are you gonna do, huh? Wait, can I not get out then? <laughs> oh, but there's a document in here. I guess I have to grab it first. Although I'm not sure. Oh. Is it above me? I don't know. Okay, I can't just run through that door apparently. Who's, who's this guy? It's just some guy. Guess we go up here? I think it's a generator. <laughs> Wait. What? Okay, hang on, let me read that document before I forget. Modern Prometheus. Uh, this is different though, isn't it? Yeah. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge and how much happier the modest man. And he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Sure. I always feel like stuff like that is just like showing off your, um, how well read you are, <laughs> you know? You start including quotes from other books, literature and things. <laughs> in horror, it's always like, ah, oh, see, I know this, you know, great, famous work. I wonder if I can close the door. The answer is no. Can you get? I guess you can just get through there. But I have to really do this all while running. No. <sighs> Apparently, I re—I used my battery already. I don't remember even doing that. Oh, did I not pick it up this time? Maybe I didn't. I think it is it safer like to have the light on. I feel like it just hasn't got me when I've had it on. Oh, come on! Don't know how the hell you do that with that thing you do. Wait, what? Was that? I guess I wasn't supposed to go that way. I hope not, because I have no <laughs> way of seeing. Oof! How does he took his camera away? So what the fuck? Oh no, this isn't fun. That's going to be really shit. I really don't want to do this part of the game. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, this is just... <laughs> no.
Hey, we've done it. Wait, what? How is that remotely fair? Like, what is that? Fun or fair? Oh, I got stuck on a fucking box. Everything about this is just annoying me, like that sound that it makes every time you die. It's just doing my head in. <laughs> Come on, I just want this game to be over. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I don't know why this game is... Popular. It's supposed to be a good one anyway. Don't kill me. Why? What what can I possibly do? Because he's there, right, so... That's so, like, what am I supposed to do? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. Am I not allowed to go in there? Is that, like, what's happening? Is the game saying that that's, like, the wrong... Place to go. Like, am I? I don't even want to continue. This is so fucking stupid and boring. <laughs> I just, I'm purely playing this. Because. Not finishing it at this point, it would just be a bit daft. Is there another direction? Like. <sighs> Go fuck yourself. Right, I wanted to see if I can wait, but then I, I'm gonna guess that he just spawns, yeah. He does actually catch up with you. It seems, but... Like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Like, this is the fastest possible route. Ah, apart from that bit. What? <sighs> fucking... What's the fucking point? <laughs> this is so... shitty. I didn't even realise until <laughs> hit the ground. This is great game design. Why, like, why did I make it that time? Like, what did I do differently? Nothing. Just a bit of luck.
where is this life pod fail so oh look another fucking thing to read let's do it Please find attached the permission to proceed form for patient William Hope of Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Psychiatry Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. Guided. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded a financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Vernick, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has a normal therapeutic potential. Wait, I can't just get down there. My own. My own. Is this failsafe just doing another... Another place. Hey. For some reason he's not going to kill me, even though he did ten times already. I wish you would just kill him. And that was the end of the game. So now I have to think, work this out while running around like a fucking moron. Uh oh. Like, do I go up to his pod or where do I go? Like, what is this gameplay loop? <laughs> you don't know where you're going, which is fine, but then you're on a pressure <laughs> that's very short. Wait, what was that? Oh. I don't really know if I need that, though. But... I thought this was going to be a nice little game with a mechanic, camera mechanic. It was going to be kind of interesting because I thought it was going to be like you have to record certain things or. Oh, he's right there. I just couldn't even find his pod, but I just think it's the one that's right in front of me at the beginning. <sighs> it was going to be a cool game where you had to like, I don't know, record as much as you could. Where the fuck am I going? Oh yeah, this is the right way. Well, like, you wouldn't be able to record everything, but it's like, you got to record cool bits and then sort of make that report type thing. R report? Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's not in here anymore. Is he? Oh, it's this one. Oh, shit. I can, like... Oh, I guess it's because I had the night vision on. <laughs> but, like... Yeah, I couldn't see him. God, I just like, threw up in my mouth. But where is it? This way? Wait, I can't go through there. No. <laughs> like... Oh my god, I just. Well, oh, that was loads. Oh, god. <laughs> Swirl that down.
taste the game in my mouth. So it's not that way, because the door don't open. Well, then where is it? What is it? Please, just let me finish the fucking game. This is not fun, and it can't be fun to watch. <laughs> oh my god. How to make a horror game fucking tedious. Like, it's... Where's the fail safe? Is it this? I mean, there's no point in really using this camera thing because I can't actually evade him <laughs> anyway. Is it through here? Like, is there a. through here? No. Yeah, I can okay, hurry the fuck. Oh, my God, the fucking. Oh my god, I hate this game so much. Please. <sighs> like, the first hour was okay. This is like, actually, this is very comparable to Resident Evil 7, which I really don't like either. Where the first hour is okay. The first hour of Resident Evil 7 was fucking awesome. And the rest of the game is absolutely terrible. <laughs> like, especially the last, I don't know couple of hours were utterly abysmal, like sub par for a studio of, of that, you know a studio a Capcom studio, like it was really bad <laughs> um, and this has turned out to be quite similar although what it, it didn't have quite obviously the high as Resi 7 did at the beginning I don't know where I'm going, because I can't go through that door. I'll try again, but it wouldn't let me before. <sighs> yeah, Resident 7 was so disappointing, because the... You know, the whole bit in the house, the first house, so good. I was like, oh my god, it's classic Resident Evil. You know, you had to find some keys, and do some puzzles, and, and that Jack guy was... I think it was Jack. It was um, lurking around the house, but then it just completely threw that out of the window the second you left the house. <laughs> it was just, I don't know. And the whole last section where you're on the ship with the machine guns and it just turns into a really bad FPS. It was a shame. See what they do in the uh, sequel, I guess, Resi 8. Do I go through here? I have no idea. I've already been through here, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Who's making that sound? No, I don't know where to go. Is 
Is it in like the first part? Like this is so not exciting. Doesn't matter how much music you put in. Like, what am I actually supposed to do? Nothing there. Oh, right. Okay. Because he doesn't kill you instantly in the cutscenes, just when you're playing. Like, it would be cool if he did this when you're running away. You know, just threw you somewhere, so you, if you were injured, and if he hits you a few times, you die. Like, that would have been good. <laughs> that voice acting. That <laughs> Mr. Bean. Oh god. Don't make me walk like this. What is this for? What's the player supposed to feel during this moment? I always think stuff like this is pretty indulgent. Because it's like, does the player, the player doesn't feel like this, you know, like, oh, you know. It's just a bit. Like, oh my gosh, do I have to walk like this? Are you telling me, by the way, there's no self-destruct sequence? Because <laughs> there has to be. Come on, there has to be. Where's uh, Brad with the rocket launcher? Jill, take this! Um, come on, man. Nice. Not sure what. You have become the host. <sighs> is it done, Yuri? I think it is. Yay! Well, the menu barely fits on the screen. <laughs> now it's got the added option. Well, that was the game. Um, what do I think about last? As you can probably tell, I wasn't a huge fan <laughs> of the whole game. I think it started off with an interesting gameplay idea of the of the camcorder, but it really didn't use it. Like it was just a, f a torch, essentially. Like it didn't, you know. It, it was, yeah, it was just a torch. Like I don't really know what else, what the point was. You were just running with it in front of your eyes all the time. Like 
you know, a camera, like if, if they maybe they'd made it so that, you know, you couldn't run with it in front of your eye because that's fucking impossible in real life with a camera. If they'd maybe done that so that it was like an incon, you know, it was like a flash lab, there's inconvenient, so you had to use it when you were walking or. but not when running, and so it made certain sections more difficult. But obviously, you wouldn't make them pitch black, but, <laughs> but you know, it would sort of add a bit of pacing or something that they could use in the game. Where it's like, oh shit, during a chase sequence, you have to be in, you know, darkness or whatever. Because um, you can't use your camera properly. Something like that. Um, you know, and plus I thought, you know, they were going to actually have so you record things kind of for the end of the game, maybe, or maybe you could, like, record clip things and submit it somewhere, you know, like you could wirelessly upload it somewhere and maybe it affects your help that you get or I don't know some there could be some mechanic where you know it's it, it, I mean it's hard to say how that would work in ways that's not just affecting the ending but like being a reporter and capturing as much as you can as a mechanic could be very cool and I thought that's what it was going to be because that's what it sounded like it's like record as much as you can um, but First of all, you could record everything, <laughs> even while doing things which you cannot use a camera <laughs> at the same time as running and all that stuff. But also, it didn't matter. That wasn't really the point. Um, at all of the game. So I really, it was a bit of a, you know, lie or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, I thought the game was weirdly paced as well. Like, I felt like halfway through the game it was going to be the end of the game soon <laughs> and then they extended it maybe maybe that happened in development artificially like maybe they were planning to make it a certain length and then it was they were like oh it's too short or maybe it was just a I don't know like a, t a pilot test pilot sort of game and they were like hey actually it's quite good let's extend it I don't know, but it was yeah, it was a bit weirdly paced, and then the story was very weirdly told. I don't know why there was the notes that your character writes, but also thinks. Was I don't know what that. It was weird that the character experienced things in his notes that I didn't, even though I'm in his head the whole time. <laughs> that didn't make any sense and it's a very strange um, storytelling method I've never like, like, but they could have done that interestingly like it would be interesting if the character had insights that I don't that maybe reveals something about the character you know like he's he's becoming crazy and is interpreting things differently. You know, something that had a progression, something that came from that disconnect, rather than it just being a disconnect between the player and the character, even though we are in his head <laughs> the whole time. That was kind of weird. Um, and, and, you know, and he wasn't writing anything that journalists would write. You know, surely he'd be making notes for his, you know, when he gets out, he's going to get all this footage. He's got some a huge, you know, story to blow, whatever. Blow the lid off. And uh, and yet his notes will just be his, you know, screaming in, in, in writing, <laughs> which is utterly pointless. So that was very strange. Um... And then all of the, the actual like story of whatever research they were doing and stuff seemed very tacked on. I don't really know what that had to do with it. Um, they were kind of going with a mystical angle, but then it was just a technological angle with 
some religious people for no reason. I'm not sure what they. I'm not sure what they really thought was happening. Or it, 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 there wasn't. There wasn't any. It was that kind of story where it's like they half told something. It's like lots of premises. Oh, maybe it's this Germanic. Uh, demon. That's maybe that's what it is. Oh, maybe it's uh, Nazi stuff. Maybe it's like Nazi paranormal stuff. Maybe it's Nazi technology. You know, or, or religious. You know, like Himmler religious shit or whatever. You know, or maybe it's nanotechnology. <laughs> or maybe it's a cancer cure. You know, that's kind of what it was at some point. Um. Oh, maybe it's a weapon. You know, all that. But they're all random, but there was no like development of that. They're just ideas, like what ifs, and then there was no, you know, no depth to the the way it went into it because it didn't go into any of them. Because <laughs> you don't really know what it was. I guess it's the nanite thing, but then you found out the last two seconds, and there was no. So what? You know, there was no nothing. Nothing came from that. You know. There were no implications, there were no um, like we didn't even know what they would use that for, you know, it was just like there's nothing um, so yeah, I find that very unsatisfying <laughs> it didn't really have a story that developed anywhere um, which again suggests maybe they weren't planning to make the game this long, or um, that wasn't the the beginning intention. I don't know, but yeah, so I'm honestly pretty disappointed because <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be a good game, and it's not really. Um, when half of it's kind of tedious and rep repetitive, <laughs> it's probably not that great. Um, so yeah, too bad. I guess I think Amnesia was a lot more fun. I think that was, you know, there's the similar sorts of games in in the sense that I think Amnesia came out, and I know there was like Penumbra and stuff before that, but I think Amnesia was the one that really like first person walking simulator horror game type thing. Um, Oh, there's not well. Maybe Walking Simulator is a bit too harsh on that one because I think Walking Sims were more like trying to do amnesia, but didn't have the same gameplay elements. So that's why it's a Walking Simulator. But you know, Amnesia really blew up the first-person horror thing, and uh, this and then Outlast came out. Probably, I don't know when was this? 2013 or something like that. And Amnesia, I'm pretty sure, was before. I don't remember when. Probably, I don't know, a couple of years before or something. I'm not sure actually. But I think Amnesia was just more. Um, I think it was shorter and it didn't really outstay its welcome, except maybe the last half an hour, an hour. I was a bit like, yeah, I'm not that bothered anymore. But that's definitely something you want to avoid. It's a horror game, it's out outstaying your welcome. Um, because, you, you know, it's all about intensity of experience and so if you if you're tired of it if you're not in the if it's not keeping your attention and then you're not going to be you know scared or whatever thrilled as horrors really should be i don't think they're all that scary necessarily but they are thrilling uh, at their best um so yeah i'll keep playing with uh, what's the other one we're playing? Song of Horror. I'm definitely loving what I'm seeing with that so far. Going to be super interesting to see where it develops and how they do all the multiple characters things. Um, and I've got a bunch of other games to play too. Some new, some old. So stick around. I'm sorry if you found me not enjoying it, uh, not enjoyable yourself, but you know, <laughs> those are the breaks. Um, I did want to just get through it and uh, finish it so that I've got uh, some completed games on this channel. But yeah, I hope you decide to stick around, subscribe, and watch my other videos too. And I will see you in those. <laughs>